Good morning, brothers and sisters. And I am very happy to be able to join you guys today. I was reading uh, the owner's manual for mankind this morning. Uh, some people call it the Bible. And this particular Bible I, uh, I read every morning is a study Bible. Um, and I read in Luke 21, 26, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then down below where, where the explanations are, there was no explanation for this. And I sort of thought there wouldn't be <laughs> because, uh, all the information on both sides of this passage, of this excerpt, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Everything else was explained. And even, this was in uh, Luke, but even in Matthew, uh, a similar passage, that part is ignored again. So, this uh, study Bible is a sort of a, sort of conservative traditional side of of the of the studies um and that's good in on a lot of levels but um they don't like to go into healing um, driving the powers of demons away and um you know speaking in tongues and things like that this particular group of Christians feel that that doesn't really apply for these days. I don't completely agree with that. Um, and I think there is a lot of things in the Bible that say that the Holy Spirit and triggering these powers of the prophetic, powers of the, of the tongues, and uh, as long as you don't become slaves to these things, um, can be very useful for all all little Christ-like ones, but because it wasn't answered and it was, you know, I wrote it down and thought about it, I asked Holy Spirit and then listened. And so it turned into a lesson for me and perhaps for some of you folks. Um, Holy Spirit answered the spirits, some call planets, will be shaken, will be depowered, depowered, unpowered, depowered. Any influences from them over mankind will soon be taken away permanently, though intended only as lights and guides for planting and growing and harvesting some foods, wrongness in some generations of men have attracted wrong spirits to build evil energies around these places and other stars as well. Well, there's something about the moon, the moons, the planets, the stars, all being the same energy, the same thing. They will simply be returned to God's original order. So, as we write and cleanse mankind and our realm on this world, so too are the spirits beyond earth being cleansed and brought to rightness. Rightness. Thus, Great God harmony is being restored through his purifying, expanding children. That's us, folks. And their full, dash fill, dash meant, full, fill, meant. Did you mean it? Then you meant it. Full, fill, meant of their destiny. and to his glory. 
Let me read that sentence again. Thus, great God harmony is being restored through his purifying, expanding children and their fulfillment of their destiny and to his glory. <laughs> this made me start crying. It overwhelmed me, but with, with love and happiness. Sobbing, I said, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is so beautiful. And I wiped my joy-filled tears from my happy, amazed, thankful eyes. And I said, <laughs> I knew what I could talk about today. There is so much more going on in this world than what we were told was our day-to-day -day responsibilities. There is so much more to do. In the worldly, you know, in the worldly places, realm, and also in the spiritual realms. And we, we have, we have, we have affected a lot of change in both places. Yes, through God's love and power, and, and also through our love and power. Um, you know, with Jesus' blessings, with Holy Spirit's guidance. And uh, it is astounding to be alive right now. If your eyes aren't popping daily, then you're not paying enough attention. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's good it's good and god jesus is moving across the plain over the realm whatever you want to say throughout mankind and the evil is squashed they are so confused. They are desperate. They are frightened. Frightened beasts can be dangerous. Uh, they can definitely bite you. But they're wounded. Their ways are dying. Their lies are, are reaching completion. Um, they're actually, they're leaderless um, all the time. The goodly godly folks, some call them white hats. You know, the other ones, 17, that, that they're called. Uh, there's groups around President Trump. Um, you know, some of the past presidents were connected to evil. Uh, they're all gone. It's finished, you know, they're finished. They were working, they were actually working for groups of families. They're done, mostly have been rounded up and who we were presented as powerful people. We were presented these people, your Gates, you know, your Zuckerbergs, they were all just setups for those families that are done. And they're done, you know. You see a ton of them leaving corporations. Um, getting the, you know, China flu. Um, we know what that means. Anyone that's been paying attention for the last two years should know that by now. That when these you know, more infamous people or famous people, however you look at it, when they get the flu and it's put out into the press, that's an action point. 
Um, that's an acknowledgement of facts that we've known for a few years now. Um, but it's getting into the more, the, the, it's reaching the masses. Our brothers and sisters will come with us. <clears throat> There's a few that won't, but most of them are going to wake, <clears throat> awaken. Protect me, God, protect me. I'm speaking to your children. I've been under attack. I do a lot of work in the spirit and they don't like it. They don't like it one bit. They don't like God's light being shined into their dark corners. You little cucarachas, you're done. You will not silence us. I am a child of the Most High God. Who dares be against me? You little liars. You try to take the creator of all things down? Fools. Jesus, the Christ, will know where to send you. Go to him. You leave me alone. Leave all the goodly, godly brothers and sisters alone. Now, in Jesus' name, I declare this cleansed. See how you do it? They're gone. They have no power over us. Unless they can get us to be in fear or pain, which is fear that's taking control. And that's why we drive them away from other people and help them. But you have to make sure they repent. And then they ask Jesus in and then they get Holy Spirit for their guide. Then the liars can't come back. But if you just clean out the room, send the evil away, the evil will go around and around for a while and then come back. Jesus t teaches us about this. And they'll come into us beautiful, clean, swept place that has no protection. And they'll bring back more of their little lying allies and start accosting that poor person again. So don't foolishly drive away the evil without setting up the protection for our brothers and sisters in their temples and that takes instruction and practice and each then one of us each one of us then takes the responsibility of doing it you can't carry people on your shoulders and we're not supposed to each one of us has the free will and that's why these powers in the skies cannot be affecting mankind and Mother Earth in an ill-mannered fashion because uh, this is God's creation and he has blessed us and we will not give in and we will not give up the love that he sends us, which comes with responsibility, which then comes with great power. Give great thanks to our Papa. Keep deepening your discernment, deepening that responsibility, uh, that that relationship, deepen that relationship with Holy Spirit. See how my being able to listen to his answers this morning, which, you know, by the way, is February the 23rd. 
Yesterday was very interesting, wasn't it? Think about it. It was 2, 22, 2, oh, 2, 2. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. What is that up to? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is 1. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait, I did that wrong. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is 3. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> you know how much I love 3. And we know how much God loves 3. Come on. Yesterday was a 3. The energy was a three. <laughs> I loved yesterday and I love today. Oh, like I said, I was under attack. But I have great protection. I wear the armor of God, the shield, the sword of truth, which is the words of the living Jesus going out like a sword. To the evil cha chops from my hot knife through butter <laughs> they don't come near me too often but when they do they usually gang up on me because they're cowards so i had a lower tooth and upper tooth all getting attacked at once whacked out my energy inflamed my like a fever my forehead and I had to do battle with it, but I still managed to do some videos and stay loving and eat as best as I could. And I dealt with it with joy because um, that's how you heal. Truth is freedom. Freedom brings me great joy. And that's nine tenths of why I do these videos is because as I've learned this from Holy Spirit, from other people making videos, um, from great people like Rush Limbaugh and oh, that taught for 30 years about freedom from wonderful people like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin. These were amazing people. Now they're attacked. Now they're attacked. Well, of course, all the goodly, godly people are attacked. Oh, they found a skeleton in Benjamin Franklin's house. Yeah, Benjamin Franklin's been dead for 200 years. Who's lived in that house since? Come on, he was a goodly, godly man. He fought so hard for this country. He rallied them when they had given up hope in the Congress, in that first Congressional Congress or meeting. Um, but even now he's attacked, even by some of the people who gather the knowledge. They gather all the knowledge and then they, they, they don't have Holy Spirit to run it by. So they're, they're, they're still losing the goodly, godly input, but people will learn to discern better. Some people just are collecting information, and that's great because we need that information. There's going to be some amazing libraries put together with truths that they've tried to hide. Um, Beware of people who attack others who are trying to do good in the world. But also beware of people who are trying to do good in the world but don't have a God sieve. They can't, they can't distinguish from lies and foolishness and goodly godliness because they're, they're too busy. So we need to have that discernment so we can help you know, sift for the truth. 
don't put all your faith in one person. I keep seeing people doing the same things that we've always done, idolizing. Don't idolize people that are gathering truth. That's reserved only for God. Because you make false idols, you set them up for great falls. And I've seen a lot of the people gathering truth say, no, no, no. You know, I'm just Charlie. <laughs> right? He's even a book like that. I'm just Charlie. Don't make me an idol. You know, we're just looking for truth and goodness. Um, unlocking hidden realities. That's what's happening now. And each one of us has a piece of that to share with each other. To enlighten one another, even to help heal pains and from the misconceptions that were intentionally planted into our lives. So, yes, we're doing better and we can do a heck of a lot better as well. So, <laughs> I love you guys. That's the main point I wanted to make that these things are being changed and that's why energy's fluctuating. You can feel it sometimes you're real tired and it doesn't even make sense. And then if that goes long enough, you can get ill at ease, dis-ease, inflictions will occur that's telling you you're on the right path. And sometimes you have to take action we all have to take action, but when you're under attack, sometimes you can pray for help, but usually the help comes when you take action. You know, it, this is a, it is a group effort, but each one of us has to be doing it, doing what, what our role is. So you need your discernment and you need your relationship and you need to practice the prayer, meditation, you know, aspect of it, cleansing your um, your pineal, because they've for years been polluting it for, intentionally, toxifying us. So you need to cleanse that. Um, and I do have pine needle tea. I'll put that link down where you can get some. That's one great way to cleanse. There's tons of other ones and you need to do the research, but you can make a warm tea. Here's a good one. Cinnamon, just in warm water, cinnamon, raw apple cider vinegar, raw honey, ginger, turmeric. You know, you can find different mixes that work for you of these, but you know, it's about a teaspoon of all the of all the uh, powders, cinnamon, um, ginger, turmeric, just a dash of cayenne pepper. This will cleanse you. Lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, honey. Um, that will cleanse you. Mix it with your pine needle tea. That's amazing, you know. Also, you separately you can make a grapefruit with the rinds, grapefruit, um, a little bit of lemon, like a fresh lemon chopped up, squeezed into it. I put it in a quart mason jar, you know, a canning jar, um, and and I have several of those in the refrigerator so that I, I have it, you know, rotating. And um, that is also a powerful immune system boost and cleanser and combine it with your cleanser. That tea, I told the cleansing tea, um, the pine needle tea, all of them, a little bit of all of it. 
you need your zinc, you need your C, you need D, you need to get them close to each other because they help each other be absorbed into your body. And then you give your body what you need and it knows what to do. We're designed so amazingly. So I'll also put my link for my supplements and, you know, website that I do supplements and, and I've done this for 10, 12 years. Um, really high quality food that <clears throat> is much higher quality than almost anything you can get at a grocery store. So it's great nutrition. You need to make sure you're getting that. And a lot of us can't just go out into the forest and pick fruits, especially this time of year. <clears throat> so you need to supplement, you need to get even the fruit you get at the grocery store is appallingly low in the nutrients that we think generally is in fruit and vegetables. And it's just not there anymore. And that's not accidental. So much of it is even toxic. And that's on, that's on purpose. But it's not the farmer's fault. Generally, they've been forced to use these toxic seeds. And, and they've been convinced by a powerful campaign for, for decades to use these chemical crap fertilizers. Now, of course, there's an organic movement and the permaculture movement. And the, orga and the awareness of organics is a great step forward. But there's a lot of, you know, every time there's been a good movement for the last 50, 60 years, even a hundred or two, there's been infiltration by the liars. And that is so obvious. If you do some of the research, you'll find this out. And it's true. And that's why we, as, <laughs> as we were growing this movement of cleansing with natural herbal protection and building your immune system through healthy living and clean food, and cleansing drinks. Um, we had to get attacked by a man-made, you know, sniffle maker. I'm not gonna say the name, I think you know what I'm talking about. And then the poison clot shots. So just to weaken your immune system so that they can you know, I, they could have permanent patients in the in the pharma corporations, pharma pharma banker indoctrination education lawyers political classes all have been in cahoots. And if you don't know that after the last two years, you've been living like an ostrich with your head in the sand. That's like sitting on the fence. That's not taking action. You're still being controlled by the television. Get off from that for two weeks. Break the addiction. You'll be blessed and we'll be moving forward faster. The Great Awakening is here, and you are loved. Jesus is moving across the realm. He is connecting us like never before. Even though there's more people <clears throat> in the last 10 years that hated God, that were fighting against goodly godliness, that were perverting and twisting and ugh, doing some really gross things <clears throat> and trying to make it that that's normal. That's just the way things are. Yeah, twisted. Um, it's, it's not just the way things are. And, uh, it, and the cleansing is here and you need to take action and join the Great Awakening. 
um, because of free will. You could do it on your own, or you can get a two by four upside your head. The longer you wait, the closer to the two by four your your forehead's going to be. So we we're, we're desperately trying to wake you up now, and have been for years. People have been screaming in the wilderness. <laughs> repent, repent. <laughs> The end is near. The end of the lies. And we reach up to the right. You've got to be aware that something is wrong. I think everybody understands that. 99.9% .9 of the people know there is a great wrongness in the realm. Sound the alarm, the enemies in the gates. Fire, foe, fire, foe, flee, fire, foe, flee. Awaken, put on your armor of God. Use the truth. To battle against the lies and we will regain and retain our liberty our freedom you are loved and don't forget you're the apple of Papa's eye I love you I hope this touched you and I hope you have a great day I'm gonna get scooting and get and post these um february 23rd 2022 amazing things are happening for me and you i am changing and growing i hope you are too see you soon